press conferences today, and you're waiting for Mons. Sweden. Yes, me too. Here is Mons Selmanov. It's, it's so much fun to be here in Vienna now, and uh, I just did the first rehearsal, and it felt really good. It felt there were still, I felt there was still a lot of stuff that can be changed, and I can do better. But uh, uh, we're definitely on our, our way, mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, I, I love the stage. I think the stage is is huge, and it's so beautiful, and the lighting is uh, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, great. So it was, uh, no, it was amazing. Fine. Tell me uh, about the song. What makes Heroes so unique um, in relation to other songs? Well, I, th I think the message is, is, uh, is great. It's, uh, it's about that everyone can be a hero, we can all be role models. Um, and um, I also think that it has this epicness to it, like uh, with a small country, country vibe to the verse, then going on to, to this big arena chorus. Uh, and it just feels really natural to stand like this at the end. Yes. Um, uh, sorry for the next question, but I heard you have a, a lucky routine before you go on stage. Oh yeah, check it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, check I, check, I, check, your I check my zipper like yes. 50 times. Tell time. us the story behind. Yeah, the story, I did Greece, the musical Greece, and, and Mama and Sweden, and uh, there was this scene when I went up, and like in the middle of the scene, in the middle of the dialogue, I realized that my zipper was open. And I couldn't do anything about it because I still had to act, so uh, so I had to have to uh, have it open. And since then, I just felt that okay, I really need to check that my zipper's closed. Okay, that's fine. It's a funny story. Okay, wow, it's full the room. Oh, you can start. Okay, this young man with the red. Yes. Hi to all oh, Swedish delegation. My name is Jędrzej. I'm from Poland uh, magazine Unitat. Uh, first, I would like to say, Mons, good to see you finally on Eurovision. Dziękuję. So, you, uh, you won uh, a Swedish press selection Melody Festival and after the third time and your dream come true. It is. So, uh, what is your next move, your next uh, big uh, dream? Of course, uh, win Eurovision, but uh, beyond Eurovision somehow. <laughs> well, yeah, of, co of course that's a big dream of mine. Uh, even to be in Eurovision is, is huge, and, and, and to win Eurovision would be even better, of course. Uh, but I just thought, like, one of my biggest dreams have been to do uh, an international tour at some point in my life, and I've, I've never been as close as I am right now. Uh, so that's actually what I'm hoping, and uh, to be able to, to, to get more people to listen to my music, and, and uh, I'm really looking for that to happen after this. Okay, next question. Hi, Mans, I'm Dominic from the Austrian TV station. Hi. Um, as a Swedish artist, <laughs> you really have the obligation to win the song contest. <laughs> Once in your life, um, do you feel any pressure this year on you? Of, of course I do. I feel feel that uh, uh, I think it's a really good it's a good song and it's a good uh, good uh, routine on stage and, and uh, I'm just hoping that I will I will do the song justice when I go up there and um, and I also feel that the, the the there's a lot of people supporting me back home in Sweden and uh, they probably think I will win, and uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, I think there, uh, even the, in the semi-finals, there are a lot of really good songs, uh, and uh, I'm not, so I'm just hoping to get out of there alive first, uh, and then, then we'll see. But, but I think Heroes has the potential to be a top three song, definitely. Okay, yes. 
in your face. Please stand up. Hello, uh, uh, from your recent spot. Uh, I have a question uh, about, uh, imagine you win your vision. Yes, they are. Uh, what, is there some special person to dedicate the, the victory? Well, thank you. Absolutely, I, uh, thank you. Um, I, I, I have a foundation. Uh, we finance two schools in South Africa and one in Kenya. And uh, I know the kids there are in those three schools, those four schools actually uh, really are hoping and they've sent me a lot of like video messages and stuff. Um, and they're really uh, keeping their fingers crossed uh, for me to win. So I'll, if I were to win, I would definitely dedicate the victory to them. South Africa. Yes? <laughs> yes? Uh, Duncan Kati, uh, we have a presentation to make to Malt, so we'll just come up there. Oh. Present. <laughs> hey, Malt, seeing new stuff? Hey. <laughs> I'm Andrew from Australia. This is my partner Richard, also from Sydney. And you were into Australia recently? Yes, I was. Okay. I love it. Uh, so we represent the rest of the world, OGAE Fat Club. We have members in Australia, South America, North America, wherever. Uh, we also are big fans of Melody Festival. So uh, back when the festival was on, we were all on Facebook, messaging with each other, watching YouTube and so forth, and uh, making comments, you know, things like, Monster's so hot. Uh, and we were so excited, we were so excited when Mons won that we put together a little book of our heroes that we would like to give to you uh, from the members of the club, mostly Australian, but there are also some from Switzerland and the USA. We also have a greetings card to give to you to wish you good luck, uh, a, um, a CD of cover, Eurovision cover songs from South African artists, and a koala. Thank you. So, Thank you very much. So, so wish you all the best. Thank you. Hashtag Ask Eurovision, and there is a question from um, Jeremy. Um, if you could be any comic book superhero, who would you be and why? What superpower would you have? Well, I would, yes, I would be Superman, I guess. Yeah. Uh, since you can fly, I'm always late for my meetings, which Chris <laughs> knows. Uh, and I think if I had the, uh, if, I, if I could fly, I would probably be on time. Okay, perfect. <laughs> We have one more question from Janet from Vienna. Uh, as we already know, in the second semi-final we perform at number 13. Is that lucky or unlucky for you? That's very lucky. I was born on Friday the 13th. And that's the reason why I feel so comfortable uh, beside you 13th on June? Yes. The same? The same. Not the same year. <laughs> <laughs> there are one, two years. But You're younger, obviously. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> And, and uh, since I was born on Friday the 13th, I, I'm not that superstitious, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm considering it a lucky number and a lucky, uh, I'm lucky to go out as number 13. Okay, and the last question uh, from um, uh, the online viewer. Fonsenia, would you release your song Heroes in another language, uh, for example Swedish? Mm, not so sure about that. I, I don't know, I've, I've never even thought of, thought of it. Um, I'm, but my next album is in English, and uh, so I'm not thinking that will happen anytime soon. Okay, thank you for the questions, and now it's your turn. Okay, yes. Hi, Mons. Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. I read somewhere as a child you played piano and guitar. Can you tell us what motivated you to switch to singing? Uh, well, I never really switched to singing. I think both both piano and guitar were to like be able to uh, to perform uh, without a background. Um, but I started as an eight, started playing piano as an eight year old, I guess, and my, my mom and dad forced me to, uh, and I hated it. I completely hated piano. But then my friend started playing guitar, and uh, I followed him to one of his lessons, and I just loved it. And after that, I started like playing uh, back home when we had guests. Uh, 
my mother forced me to play the guitar and sing, and I hated it back then too. But after a while, I, I kind of started to like it, and, and I think that may have uh, made me feel safer on stage after that. Yes, anything pink? Hi guys, okay. Hi. my name is Violetta. What about music, Poland? First of all, I want to send you regards from your Polish official Mozart Metal Fan Club. I love them. Oh, nice to see, nice to hear that. Uh, Sumons, what do you feel when you are on stage? Uh, fear, happiness, euphoria, something else? You know, I, I, I've always been a quite shy uh, person in private and but there is something when I go on stage, something turns on and, and I'm just very, I feel safe there, which sounds crazy, but I, I actually do. I think it's like, uh, because there I know exactly what I'm supposed to do and I know that I can do it and I feel safe doing it. And so it's a very, um, what, do you, what, what do you call it, like a harmonic feeling to go up there and, and perform and, and I love it. And I've, been, I'm, I'm more uh, more certain that each time I stand on stage that that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. Thank you. Thank you. There's a question from Jan. Oh, will you bring your dog Messi to Vienna? <laughs> <laughs> he's not who take care of him. Yeah, no, he's he's not here. Uh, unfortunately. What kind of dog? Uh, I have a, a, a Labrador Retriever. Flat coat Retriever. This is yes. Sally. This is my, my, my dog called Sally. She is so pretty. Or, or she is. Maybe we can go on Facebook with the to talk. Definitely. <laughs> Let, let's do that. My dog is named uh, his name is Messi yes. and he's two two years old uh, and he's the best. And he's also two. Oh, forget it. Uh, <laughs> he was named Messi because of me being a, a big Barcelona fan. Um, so uh, and I think he's the best footballer on on earth. Okay. He's. Hi. Come on, Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mons. Hi. Um, okay, my question is, with everything that you've achieved so far in your life, what advice would you give to yourself at, let's say, age 10? Well, uh, I would say uh, keep being yourself, keep... Uh, uh, I mean, I was, I, I was kind of... Uh, I was bullied back then, like when I was 10 or something, 10, 10 11, and um, I know I had some problems like believing in myself and, and, and I didn't know who I was, but I didn't have an identity yet. Uh, and if I could speak to that person, I would definitely say like, keep believing that you're good the way you are. And if you want to wear sweatpants in school, you can wear sweatpants in school. Uh, and. Um, well, yeah, so that, 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 that would be my advice, I guess, to myself. Thank you. Okay. Good. Dear journalists, now you have time to take photos from Mons and me. <laughs>